Yeah, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be calculating for the total poverty gap. Total poverty gap is different from poverty gap ratio. Yeah, so we are going to use the same example, though in this question, they did not ask for the total poverty gap. They, they just asked for the poverty gap ratio, and we finished to calculate it in the previous video. But we are going to use the same example anyway to calculate for the total poverty gap. So we are going to see the difference. So here the formula for calculating the total poverty gap, it is just summation of P minus Y, whereby P is the poverty line, then Y is the individual income. So we shall start by calculating the total poverty gap in the urban area, whereby we shall just subtract the poverty line minus the income of those individuals that live below the poverty line. We do not consider individuals that live above the poverty line. And in the urban area, we had uh, four people that were living below the poverty line. So we substitute in. The first one is 4,680 minus 3,600. Even the second one, 4,680 minus 3,600. Like that. So after getting the differences, you add them, you add all of them and you get the total. And the total that you get is what is called the total poverty gap, which is 3,360. Yeah, and that interpretation would be that amount 3,360 is needed to end poverty in urban areas. And then you do the same thing for rural areas. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and uh, tap on the join button. Join and become a member of the Nesha Academy or look for the thanks button down there. You can thank Nesha Academy in any way that you would love to.